All right, hello and welcome to the Expert Inside Interview. My name is John Golan from Sales Pop Online, Sales Magazine, Pipeliner, CRM. And today I am delighted to be joined by Hortense Le Gentil, who is uh, in New York today, but commutes between New York and Paris. She is the president and founder of J Consulting. She is one of Marshall Goldsmith 100 uh, coaches, and Marshall is a friend of this program too. And uh, she works with entrepreneurs and top executives to become more self aware, understand their strengths and be to become more efficient about taking action and making decisions, all things that we, we love here. And the exciting news is that Hortense has a book coming out on October 2nd called Connecting Your True Self with the Leader You're Meant to Be. So Hortense, to begin, uh, give, me, give me a background on, on why you decided to write the book and what the driver behind that was. Oh, the book is very was very important at that point because I wanted to uh, explain to people uh, what a line is and not only to my coaches. Uh, so uh, at, because everybody, everybody's a leader, you are the leader of your life. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I focus on leadership and on CEOs and entrepreneurs and C suites, but uh, you know everybody's a leader. So mm-hmm. I, I thought it was very important. Yeah. So one of the things that uh, and I'm sure you covered this extensively in your book that you talk about is the idea of self-awareness, right? And I personally have seen that in my career, that that is one of the hardest things when people lack self-awareness. So how do, so number one, tell me about the importance of self-awareness and how do you help people become more self-aware? But first, self-awareness is not easy. So it's mm-hmm. better to have a mirror. So here is, you know, the job of a, a coach, a coach, a good coach can be a good mirror for that. Because if you want to look uh, behind yourself on your spine, for example, or your back, you cannot. So mm-hmm. you need somebody to help you to uh, be self-aware. Um, uh, so could be, you know, uh, uh, people you are w- working with or could be a coach, whatever. Uh, but it's important. I think you need someone, someone else, a feedback. A feedback mm-hmm. is necessary. Except if you can, uh, you know, feel it. Uh, for example, if you repeat all, you know, the same, uh, situation or you have a behavior, you know, issue or somebody but anyway it's people are telling you that you have a uh, issue because i don't know but if you have a bad uh character and you're always shouting i'm sure you don't know then you have to wait that somebody telling you maybe your wife or your husband or your kids whatever but somebody yeah somebody. It's interesting, though, because sometimes it does take a while for people to realize that maybe they are the common denominator and that uh, it's not circumstances. It's not, wow, I keep coming up on the same circumstances. What a coincidence to go, well, the only common denominator is me. So therefore, perhaps I own the issue. But those are hard. Those are hard processes for people to go through. Right. I know it's very difficult. You have to be uh, very courageous uh, to to face that because you know you are used to do, to react like that to have this behavior, for example, and so you don't know what you you should change. So at that point, you have to be courageous and to be aware of it. So, for example, I have clients. Uh, one of my clients came and has this behavior very bad behavior with people, always mm-hmm. shouting, and sh- and he was so good, but but the behavior was bad. And at one point, it, re- it, it took a time. But mm. at one point, he realized that, okay, it, it was a problem and said, okay, why? You know, okay, okay, I am the problem then. So now what I'm going to do? And so we, we can change. The, the first thing is to be aware, to accept. Mm-hmm. If you accept uh, that, okay, maybe you, you, there is a problem, we look where? why you are, you are acting like that very, very quickly, because our mind uh, make connection. And mm. so that's why you behave like that, because you react like that. You or you are used to do it, or maybe you saw some people, some people do it. And moreover, it's because you are not aligned. Mm-hmm. So, so my job is to uh, make you aware of that, try to find why you are not ari- aligned and how to align yourself with uh, who you are, what you're doing, what you're thinking, and what you, what you do to driver. 
Yeah, it's it's very interesting because uh, I was talking to somebody about this earlier today. Is uh, the way sometimes people go, ah, "That's just me," you know? Oh, you know what I'm like, and and but that's not really that's not really acceptable because that's that's like putting the onus on everybody else. Like, okay, if like for instance, your client, if they shout at him, that means everybody else has to put up with their shouting because that's just the way I am. So really, you're getting people to take responsibility for themselves and how they interact with others right yeah exactly and uh it opened new, new doors so mm-hmm. uh if you behave differently you uh you communicate differently with people so uh your feedback and uh, how you you are uh, is different and it's open new doors and new doors of freedom and or happiness Mm-hmm. So you feel much better, you feel much aligned, and you don't fight. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you you don't fight uh, uh, with somebody or on 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 things. So it's much much more fluid, uh, much more aligned again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, so much things happen at that point because you see differently people, environment, your job, everything. So you change, mm-hmm. and happiness comes. Because when you have a behavior problem, uh, is because you, something is wrong. Yes, yes. And and so you've mentioned you've mentioned alignment a number of times here. So um, for for our viewers here, can you explain what you mean by getting into alignment or becoming aligned? Yes. For me, becoming aligned is really to be uh, aligned with what you think, what you tell, what you feel, and what you're doing, what your drivers. Um, it's ready to be, I'm sure you, 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 you had this sensation one day to, uh, to be in, a, in the role, you know, in the zone. And, uh, as, as a, for example, as a sport, a sport uh, <laughs> woman, because I used to, to, um, to jump, uh, or with horses. Oh, show jumping. Yeah. Excellent. Show jumping. Yes. And I had one day this, is really this feeling, you know, just before the obstacle and with this absolutely great horse and uh, this stallion and we were ready just in front of the obstacle that what you have to do is just to be, you don't move and mm-hmm. you trust, you trust your horse and you, you look at this obstacle. It was very high obstacle. And so my horse, uh, you know, jumped so well because we prepared that so well and that I had this sensation that, wow. You know, you are in the in this in this zone where, my God, everything is great, everything is quiet, and you are here, and you know you did well, and this is what alignment is. When you you know you feel it, and you know that okay, you are uh, you are in, you are where you have to be mm-hmm. when you are to be. Oh, sorry, yes. so. Uh, and this is it. This is for me. It's it's exactly alignment. Yeah, and it's funny because you mentioned that in that moment when you were sailing over the obstacle, that it was almost quiet, right? And I think that's that's a, that's an interesting point here because we live in a very noisy world, right? We live in a very distracted world where things are coming at us all the time, and I think. Not everybody experiences that moment of quiet alignment, and I and I think there's probably people watching who are like, "Wow, what is that?" Yeah. <laughs> yes and no, because I'm sure that everybody. Uh, okay, maybe you you don't do sport, or maybe you okay you don't explain like that or react like that. But if you think about it, I'm sure at one point you did something or you made something, and you felt and you felt that you felt. Oh my gosh, no question. Here mm-hmm. I am. It's good. You know, I, I am, I, you know, at the good, uh, good place uh, with the good people, good environment. Even if it's with your kids mm-hmm. or your parents or your friends, at one point you felt, oh my gosh, I feel well. Yes. I've, you know, so, I, I so, don't ask questions. Yeah. So, so but, then, so then you obviously need to figure out how to achieve that in other areas of your life, like in your professional life. How do you achieve the same feeling that you of alignment that you had maybe in this other circumstance? 
Yeah, of course, because you are just one person. You mm -hmm. cannot divorce from, you know, the mm -hmm. person you are at home, that the person you are, you know, when you work, you are exactly the same, problem, the same person. So you face the same problem, the same issue. And in fact, if you think about it, you react the same thing. So if you don't know, ask the people <laughs> you are living with, you know, <laughs> they are going to tell you. Yeah, and I like the other thing that you you talk about in terms of taking action because it's one thing to uh, work with someone obviously and to maybe help them uncover and become more self aware and all of these things, but then you have there comes a point when you have to make the changes, you have to take action, you have to be bold, you have to be brave, and that's where uh, you know there's a temptation just to think, oh well, I'll just stick with the way things are because it's kind of comfortable yeah but you you can imagine that when uh, if you are aligned mm -hmm. uh you can uh have a new you know go much more higher uh so you can realize your dreams mm -hmm. and when i say your dreams it's not like you know you want to go to the to the to the moon and tomorrow you can't go to the moon no mm -hmm. but if you go back to your dream when you were when we were young, if you look at your hero, what you want to do, something is true. So uh, to be aligned, uh, okay, you are going to change, but for the best, and for the and to be to find the best version of yourself. And so it's not difficult. Mm -hmm. the, the, the the difficult part is just to be aware and accept. Okay. I can be better. I want to be better. I'm good. I'm good. It's not a question that you are not good, but you can be better. Have have a you know be a best version of yourself, a better be version of yourself, and so you know I have more. I get more joy, more happiness, uh, and and so who doesn't want to do that? Yeah. To find you know yeah but sometimes i guess people may to to achieve what you're talking about they may have to uh, make some changes not just with themselves but maybe they have to change the people they surround themselves with maybe they have to change some of the other inputs into their lives and that's 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 scary for some people but you can't achieve this without making some real changes right it depends but very often yes if you change uh of course uh you change the view of your, uh, you know, uh, this. You change your view of on your environment, on your the mm -hmm. people around you, on where you are going. So, or you are aligned with your your environment, and it's okay. Or you can align yourself too, because you can have a different view on mm -hmm. uh, on that. Uh, or uh, you have to change, but it, you know, it really depends. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if you have to change again. You know, it's uh, you know it it happens during the time you change, so it it comes very naturally, naturally. Mm -hmm. So naturally, it comes, and you have a new offer, or or you have a, somebody who's talking to you, and you say, "Oh my gosh, this people is very interesting," because you open your mind. Mm -hmm. So it's very natural. It's not like you know one day punk and you change everything. <laughs> You can, yes, I have some clients who change a lot of things, that's true, and at this point, yes, it is difficult, but you know why, in fact. Sure. The important thing is, when you know why you're doing things, when you know where you want to, uh, you know, turn, ver you know, go this direction, I mean, mm. uh, everything is possible mm. at this point. And the other thing that you talk about is helping people make decisions. And it's funny because I do think this is an uh, an incredibly hard thing uh, for some people because they become either paralyzed because they think there's too many, they could, there's too many choices for them, or they're uh, they're afraid to make a choice and focus on something because if you do that, then you're excluding all these other things. And they often make the make the choice not to choose, if you like, without realizing that that's a choice as well, to not make <laughs> decisions. So how do, you, how do you help people overcome or become better at, at choosing and becoming kind of doing it you know, faster and with more purpose? 
Oh, it's very simple. When you're aligned, you know it. So it's question of, of brain. Then you know about the left and the right sure. brain, right? So um, everybody knows now that thanks, you know, neuroscience, that you know the, our left brain is all about what you know, what mm -hmm. we know, what we prove, what okay, it, knowledge, and all about you know the right brain is about you know facing new things take decision and everything then take risk and when you don't know because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow uh, you need to feel you need you know you need to this emotional intelligence so when you are aligned we were talking about noise at the beginning mm -hmm. and so you don't have this noise when you don't know the best to do is to wait and feel mm. because at one point you will know if you don't know if, for example you really have you know decision difficult decision to take wait until you feel it your instinct is going to tell you okay mm. i feel it i have to do that even if your left brain is going to tell you no 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 don't do it because you are bitter where, where <laughs> you are and you know i have plenty I had this, this client who one day took this decision. Um, he had to choose between two. You know, he had very good job and he has he had this offer very different. You know, from uh, consulting to uh, doing to, to be a CEO, it was very risky for him. Mm -hmm. So he was very left left brain and said, "Okay, yes, no, no, yes, pro mm -hmm. cons, pro cons." <laughs> and at one point, he didn't know what to do, mm -hmm. uh, and so. Um, one of his clients said, um, okay, what's your, your, uh, your uh, burn? I, I, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. And said, he said, I want to go. And said, he, he, he left and he took his, uh, this new job. And what happened was it was just the beginning of a, a long series of uh, great CEOs. Um, right. job. And, and I think you, you've hit upon something there that I do think that instinct and, and feeling has become uh, you know people have pushed that aside a little because we are always bombarded now with technology and metrics and everything should be you should be able to make decisions always based on this but you're right at the end of the day is if you open yourself up and you're in alignment uh, that instinct is still a very powerful force yeah and it's a difference between human being and machine yeah. so you know with now you know all the technology and everything what, what is going to make the difference yes absolutely with artificial intelligence nobody's come up with artificial um, empathy or artificial emotional intelligence really at this stage um, yeah so uh, so Hortense uh, before we go um, your book is out on October 2nd is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your book uh, before we go um, I hope this book is going to help uh, as much as possible of uh, people. It's going to be a book, very a short book, uh, very easy to read, a uh, short chapter, and uh, try, you know, with some exercise. So you can begin to work by yourself. And if you need help, I will have, you know, my website and, uh, and meet you. You know, I will be there to yeah. to help, but I really want you know to help people. Yeah. So, how can people find out more about you now? Where's the best place to look you up? Uh, my website is going to because everything okay. is changed sure. right now. So, because I, and this, uh, I move, uh, so in I think one week from now, maybe two days, the, the website will be there, and the, they will have a, a blog and everything, and on LinkedIn, uh, every every everything is going to be. Um, Perfect. Much um, more yeah, easy to see. Excellent. And we'll make sure on your on your profile on Sales Pop that all that information is there. So, Hortense, this has been really fascinating. I really look forward to seeing your book, October 2nd, Connecting Your True Self with the Leader You're Meant to Be. Uh, and, I, and I love all those areas that you cover about self-awareness and understanding strengths and taking action and making decisions. I think these are universal subjects that, you know, whether it's for work or, or personal life or whatever, these, these are really good subjects and a, and a good area to to read more on uh, so thank you again for joining me today my name is john golden sales pop online sales magazine pipeline of crm see you all for another expert interview really soon thank you john thank you very much